everybody, and welcome to day two of my little mini-vlog here for the HSLDA video contest. Uh, just a little side note before we really get started, uh, I just learned that you can vote for two videos per day, so I'm going to be changing what I do. I'm going to vote for me and for a, a different video. I think that was really the point of being able to vote for two videos per day, so that you could vote for your own video if you made one, but you could also vote for other people's video. You can only vote for your video once in a day, so I'd, as I'd assume that they're encouraging others to vote for other people and not ha have to make them vote against themselves, really. I, th I think that was what they were trying to do there. But back to the point, today I decided to vote for um, this video, right about here. We'll just put a little link there. You can go and watch that one um, on your own time, though. So, anyway. What I really liked about this video is that it was very unique. Like, I hadn't seen anything like it before. It was, it was a skit more than it was, like, sitting there talking to your camera, which a lot of people did. In, in different ways, but a lot of them just like basically sat down in front of their camera and do exactly what I'm just doing right now, talking about what you were there to talk about. And these guys did it really creatively. They did a, a whole little skit-like thing. It was, it was funny, it was creative, I mean, it, it, it really pointed out a few of the really cool things about homeschooling. I mean, it had, in my opinion, everything that a video would have needed to win this contest. I mean, so now what you have to do to make one of these things is if you decide for a skit, I guess, which is what these guys did, I don't know if they would have called it a skit, but that's what I'm gonna call it, you would have needed to decide, okay, I wanna do, I need to come up with something creative. So, like, th these guys did, like, the homeschool help service, and they did a whole thing, and it's basically her narrating everything that's happening in their lives while they're actually doing it homeschooling, in the process, describing all the good things about homeschooling, like, it's all happening at the same time, and it just worked really well. Now, I was actually really impressed by, by this video. And, of course, at the end, she brings out, like, the big, like, punchline, basically, to the whole video that, oh, wow, that's kind of weird, like, one of those messes with your head kind of moments where she says, like, and they might even enter a video contest and list all these reasons why they love homeschooling, and it's just like, Oh, interdimensional business right there, that shouldn't be happening, but I mean, it was really funny, it was, it was creative, it, it was just a really good video. So if you're going to do something like a skit, I mean, those guys gave you like the perfect example for one. So yeah, that's it for day two, I hope to see you again tomorrow where I'll be voting for a uh, different video and explaining why I really like that one as well. I hope you take the opportunity to now vote for two videos that you really like because you can get more of them done that way. So you could be like, instead of being able to only vote for like 15, now you can vote for 30. Since there were like 15 days to vote, now there's not, there's only 14. So now you're like, instead of the rest of the 14, you'd be able to vote for 28 if you really wanted to. HSLDA or what whoever designed like how the, how the contest works, they did a really good job with that, being able to have the contestants be able to vote for other people, encourage them to do that without having to vote against themselves. I think that was really well done, and if I ever host a contest, I am definitely going to do it that way as well. But anyway, enough of my rambling. I will say goodbye for now, and see you tomorrow. Bye.